Last week, several people sent in pictures of the comet Neowise. It was a beautiful sight in the morning sky, and this week you'll actually be able to see it in the evening sky as well. We have an article up on that on woodtv.com if you want to read up more about it. So through this week, we have a few more interesting events that you'll be able to check out. Jupiter is going to be in opposition the night of July 13th. So here's what that means. The Earth is going to be between the Sun and Jupiter. Jupiter is going to be directly opposite the Sun. So the Sun is going to set in the west as Jupiter rises up in the east. Saturn is also going to be visible, but Jupiter is going to be far brighter. Other things going on this week, you'll be able to see Venus and the Moon very close together. So the thin crescent Moon is going to pass by Venus through the week. If you want to check that out, just look to the east about an hour before sunrise. You should be able to see the pair. Mercury also in the vicinity, but you might need binoculars to pick that up. By the way, the moon and Venus are the second and third brightest celestial objects in the night sky, so they should be fairly easy to see.